Hey, Moses, it's Colin Ward Henning over CBS Sports. Um, I'm sure you've heard uh, the Chris Middleton comparisons. I'm just wondering if that's a guy that you watch, and especially with what he's been doing in the finals, kind of model your game after. Yeah, it definitely is. That's somebody that I, that I admire. He plays a really good, solid game. Um, he, he, does a lot, he does a lot of things that I could pick up from, but I also like to pick things from a lot of different guys around the league. So that's just one of those guys. And a quick follow-up. You mentioned uh, the different basketball in the NBA. That's something that not a lot of guys talk about. Um, how has the transition been just being with, a, you know, a softer, kind of squishier college ball to the harder leather? Honestly, I like the, I like the NBA ball a lot more because, you know, that college ball, the, 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 the later on in the game, your hands get to sweating so the ball can get a little bit more slick, but it kind of – uh, counteracts that playing with the leather basketball because the sweatier your hands get, the more grip is on the basketball. It was like talking to the muscleman, and uh, he said that uh, what could surprise people about your game is that you believe you, you see the floor really well, and your off the ball movement is really good, but that you're able to like make things happen away from the ball sometimes. What do you think he was talking about? I mean, it was a lot of stuff that I learned from him and his coaching staff, just having a lot of NBA guys. Um, through a, you just look at the look at the staff from top to bottom. It's a lot of really good coaches. And I would go hang out with Coach Must, Coach DP, Coach Corey, Coach Clay, D, uh, EV. Everybody would just break down film. And with all that knowledge going around, you can't help but learn learn the game at a different level. So you can't you can't only watch watch the basketball. There's a lot of ways to score without it. And um, that's something that I feel like Golden State does a lot of. And that's some, that's that's another reason I feel like I could fit because I have a bit of a head start just playing for such a great organization. Yeah, he did say that he thinks that what you played at, the way you played in Arkansas would be a good fit for what the way the Warriors play right now. So, Yeah, I'd have to agree. Some people out there have questioned your upside. Um, what do you, why do you think they're, they're doing that? And what do you kind of say to those people? I mean, honestly, you know, everybody's going to have their opinion. And I, I, that's, I don't fault anybody for that, obviously. But, I mean, I feel like I'm going to put the work in and, and do what I have to do. And, I mean, they don't, anybody that doubts it, they might not know uh, the length that I'm willing to, to go, the work that I'm willing to put in. But I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm willing to do it, and I'm going to do it no matter what anybody thinks. So I'm gonna, I'm just, I just have faith in myself and believe that I'm going to put that work in to be the best player I can possibly be. Moses, last thing for me, just how prepared did you feel for everything uh, pre-draft because you played for, for Coach Musk? I would say really prepared. He uses a lot of NBA terminology. He's obviously an NBA guy. So um, I almost got introduced to the game a year early. So, I mean, a lot of the terminology, a lot of the, the sets, the positioning, floor spacing is things that I've been working on for a while now. So I definitely feel like I had a head start.